Hey guys, Shelly here. We're gonna be painting our margarita for National Margarita Day tonight. So, um, let's get started. I'm gonna turn the camera so y'all can actually see what I'm painting. Hey, I think y'all can see something now. Alrighty. So we're gonna start off and I'm just using a big flat brush. <clears throat> I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water. And then I've got white and sea breeze mixed together to make the glass color. So you can see finished product here. So we're gonna be doing this color here. And I'm gonna do all of the stem, this color, and the base. And I'm just trying to get thin, even strokes. For one, I wanna be able to see my lines under there that I've drawn on. And for two, I want it to dry sometime today, so I don't want it to be super duper thick. And then I'm gonna switch to a little bit of a smaller brush to do like the rim of the glass. So I'm getting a smaller brush here, and it is actually an angled brush. It's kind of small, and it's got a little angled edge here to it. I'm gonna dip it in my water. Hey, Kira. Hey, Mama Jenny. What are you guys up to tonight? Anybody drinking margaritas? So I'm gonna be doing this edge here where the edge of the glass that you can see through the uh, margarita drink that's gonna be in here. Let me see if I can see your comments on the big screen because not really working out for me on the phone because of the angle I've got it at so that y'all can see me. I can't see the comments. And so I'm just getting this rim of the glass here. And all the way up and around the top. So all this rim right here. Can y'all see that top part? Not so much. There we go. No margaritas, just a little seven and seven. Well, that works too. Oh, it's telling me I can't do it that direction. Let's see. All right, there we go. Maybe that's better. So this is our finished product that we're gonna be trying to create today for National Margarita Day. Hey, Katarina. And so now I've got all the way around the rim and down this little edge right here. And 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get some of these edges too so they look nice and pretty. Anybody drinking margaritas tonight? Uh, I have a drink somewhere, but I've lost it. Okay, so this is going to be an online kit to Persian options, or will we be seeing this in the future for Cinco de Mayo? Um, Jackie had asked me the same question as far as are we going to be able to do this at um, a, a local location for a paint party. I don't know that we're going to find a place that serves decent Cinco de Mayo style food that's not already busy on Cinco de Mayo. And of course, we're gonna want a margarita on Cinco de Mayo. So I think we will do this as a paint kit. If anybody's interested in a paint kit, um, just type paint kit below and I will see what I can do about making that happen. Um, also, if you wanna do this at home on your own and you don't wanna get a paint kit, you can get the tracer. So my tracer and all of the supply list if you type link down below I will send that to you um, <clears throat> and you could trace it on a canvas if you didn't want to cut out or if you're brave and want to cut it out yourself you could do it with a scroll saw or a jigsaw um, but we'll see about doing paint kits for this because like I said I don't know if we're going to be able to come up with a Location that's not already having a Cinco de Mayo party on Cinco de Mayo. All right, so I've got that whole outline done. See if I can move that down so you can see it better. Hey, India. And now we're going to go on to adding our drink in our glass because, of course, what's a margarita glass without a margarita? India just got a paint kit from me a few days back. How did your daughter like her paint kit, India? I think I'm gonna go back to this big brush so that it doesn't take so much time to fill in our margarita. This is Deco Art, if I can get it to go in the right direction, Chartreuse. And that's what we're gonna paint the inside of our margarita with. And I'm just gonna fill in the bulk area and then go back in with my smaller brush and get the edges. And I went back to that flat brush. She hasn't done it yet, hopefully this weekend. Awesome! I want you to send me some pictures once she finishes it. I would love to see what hers turns out like. And then my lime over here, I'm just gonna fill the inside in with the whole lime is gonna be this color to start off with. And then the same thing I did with the blue, I'm gonna go around the edges just so it looks nice and pretty when you see it from the side. But you don't have to, it's just personal preference. And then I'm going back to that little angled brush and I'm going to get all of my close edges here in a spot where y'all can see me still.
So uh, for those of you who are local and are planning on doing the cherry blossom, you know, tonight is the last night to use the uh, discount code to get your early bird special. And it's $5 off the regular price, which is 40. So you get it for just 35. And we're gonna be doing that at Making Beer Company on March the 15th. It's another Monday. And that one is this door hanger welcome sign with cherry blossoms because that will be the beginning of the week of Cherry Blossom Festival. <clears throat> so if you're planning on going to that one, go ahead and get your tickets tonight so that you can save $5. Again, if you want, if you're interested in doing this as a paint kit, just type paint kit down below and um, I'll see what I can do about putting this together as a paint kit. Or if you just want the tracer so that you can do it yourself either on canvas or cut out your own wood, type link down below and I'll send you the link to get the tracer, which is like this guy right here. And even if you're watching this after and it's not live, if you comment either one of those things below, I'll come back and talk to you about it after the live is over, even if it's tomorrow or next week or whatever. All right, now we're gonna add a little depth to this glass. So around the edges, <clears throat> we're gonna do this is Sour Apple, and it's um, deco art as well. And I'm not even cleaning my brush, as you can see. And I've still got that little angled brush. I can't figure out which direction to turn this thing. There we go. See that? Okay. So now I'm just going to be doing the border where the glass and the margarita mix. It's just gonna be a little darker there, give it a little more depth. Same thing down on this side. Just come in in this little corner here, give it some depth, and then come down around the edge all the way down to the bottom. And then <clears throat> right here below the rim of the glass, I'm gonna do the same thing, like a little shadow. And then across here, like a little shadow below the rim of the glass. And then we're gonna do the edge of, <clears throat> excuse me, the lime. Cause he's gotta have a little peel on him. So I'm just gonna take that same brush and go all the way around the edge here. So that he has a peel on him. Gotta keep stopping and looking up to make sure whatever I'm painting on is actually in frame so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Get me a little liner brush back here behind me. I got tons of brushes. I gotta find the right one I want. That one, I like him. 
And so he's just a little skinny liner brush, kind of long and floppy. And I'm going to use him in that same color. And when I use a liner brush, I just like to pull through and kind of twist a little bit so that it makes sure it picks up paint on all sides and it brings that liner brush to a point. Liner brushes do not hold a lot of paint at one time, so you kind of have to go back in often to pick up new paint. And then I'm just going to do a little edge here around these little sections of the line just to give it some more depth. Nothing fancy, just a little shadow, a little depth. So you see, it's just a little bit of depth in there, not much. I think I'm gonna add a little bit down in here in a few places. And now I have got some paint pens, which make life so much easier than having to use the um, liner brush all the time. And I'm going to start down here on the stem and base of the glass because that stuff's already dry. And I'm going to do just where I have all my... So when I do this, I use a little tracer and some carbon paper. And I put the carbon paper underneath it, black side down, and trace it off with a pencil. And then all my marks are here for me so that I know where to put these little lines. And I'm just using my paint pen to fill in all my little highlight, low light lines. And these are all already marked on here for me because I traced them out with that carbon paper before I started. Make this one kind of thick. And to get a little more ink or paint out of your paint pen, you just kind of press it down and the little brush tip depresses and more paint will come out for you. makes the strangest sound. I don't know if it's like nails on a chalkboard and I don't like it or if it means I'm painting and I do like it. <laughs> so it looks like we will be having Cherry Blossom Festival this year here in Macon area so I'm pretty excited about that. And now that we've done this, I am going to go around the whole edge of this glass. i got to be a little careful that I don't get wild and crazy here.
I'm kind of using the edge as a guide, like I'm touching the edge with the paint pen, like half of it's on, half of it's off, so that it goes all the way around without getting all wonky and weebly wobbly. like that and now I'm going to do the same thing with this bottom of the stem and go all the way around these edges Let's see if I can flip it around to do the other side without getting paint all over my fingers because if I do then I'll get paint somewhere else like in the middle of my margarita and that won't be fun it's like drinking the paint water at a paint party. When you put your brush in the margarita or you drink your cup of cleaning water, it's not good. Ooh. Alrighty. It's looking real nice there. And then we're gonna do all of the lines of, I think I might switch this around so that I can see it better and y'all can see it better. Here we go. So all of our lines basically that are dark in our tracer, we're going to fill in. So all around this edge, like I did the rest of the stem of the glass, I'm gonna go all around that edge. I'm gonna stop about right there, mainly just so I don't stick my hand back in it because I don't want it to be wet right here while I'm working down in this area. So I am gonna come through here. I need to get some more paint to come out of here. Ooh, a lot of paint came out of there, but that's okay. And I don't know if y'all can see this, but when I do this, I don't really move my fingers. I move my hand. Like my whole arm is moving. It makes me have a straighter line and more control. So I'm just looking back at the reference that I did. I did on both sides here and on both sides there. Straight lines are not fun, but they're also not super important. Wiggly lines are just as fun and beautiful as straight lines are. And this paint pen makes it so much easier than trying to do it with a liner brush. Some things I definitely like my liner brush for, and some things I'm in love with paint pens. I'm constantly thinking about where my hand is so that I'm not sticking it back in the wet paint. And then I'm gonna come back around and do this edge that I wouldn't do earlier because I didn't wanna stick my hand in the wet paint.
and now I'm gonna go around my lime. Let's get him in a position where you can see him. And I don't know if you guys noticed. Oh, you can't see me. So you didn't notice. I have on my margarita shirt. It says, that's what I do. I know things, or I drink margaritas and I know things. It's one of my favorite shirts. And I thought it was appropriate for today with it being National Margarita Day. <coughs> and now I'm gonna go back between each of these little sections and outline them as well. And a couple little seeds. There we go. Now we are going to work on our ice. So I'm going to get out that same liner brush that I was using before, the long skinny guy, and some white paint. And this is deco art as well and it is in snow white or titanium white and I'm just gonna make sure that my brush is a little damp that way I get a little more flow with the paint and I'm doing the same thing I did before with the liner brush and then I'm making sure I turn my brush in the paint so that it makes all my little bristles stick together and come to a nice point and then I'm just gonna follow the lines that I have traced out for ice and I'm just picking up a little bit of paint each time because like I said these liner brushes do not hold lots and lots of paint at one time still just trying not to stick my finger in the wet paint although as you can see I have paint all over my hand I have already stuck it in there a couple of times I'm gonna go back over this one because it looks a little light and that's why I'm not using the paint pen for this because I just find that the paint pen the white is not as bold as like the white, or sorry, like the black paint pen is. So I'd rather do this with the liner brush just because it gives me a little better coverage and it makes these little ice cubes stand out more. And then I missed this spot earlier. It's a shadow. And it needs to be filled in.
needs a little shadowiness to it too. And then I'm gonna give those little ice cubes a minute to um, dry before we do anything else with them. I am gonna come back in with that same liner brush and add a few little <clears throat> details over here in the lime. He just needs some little pieces of the fruit, how they separate. I think I'll lighten up these little seeds of hair too. Might even need a little highlight here in this rind peel. Not a whole bunch, just enough to give it a little shine. There we go. And then I'm also going to use the liner brush to add a little shine down here. Like I said, I don't really like the paint pen for this because I just find that it doesn't give as bold of a look. Same thing up here in this area. Just a little shine on that glass. And then, while I'm waiting for them ice cubes to dry a little bit more, we're gonna start on our salt. And the salt's the fun part, so I'm gonna use Still, I'm gonna use this liner brush, but I am going, there it is. I'm gonna use the back of it. Um, so I'm just gonna dot with the back of the brush. So I'm just gonna dip it into my white paint, just one little dip, and then I'm gonna do some dots. I'll start over here where y'all can see a little better. And I'm just gonna dot, 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 till I feel like I've run out of paint. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do it again, and we're just gonna put random dots all over the place is going to be our salt because what's a margarita without salt although if you ask mama jenny she always has sugar on hers because she gets a strawberry one So we can put salt wherever we want it. Any little place that you feel is part of the rim and that salt would stick to it, just put you some salt there. Lots and lots and lots of salt on our little margarita.
And then once we get enough salt, I'm not gonna make y'all watch me poke it up for an hour. Or in my world, sugar. Yes, <laughs> Mama Jenny, in your world, sugar. So I'm gonna go back to my paint pen and I just want to give our ice cubes a little bit of depth. doing that with a liner brush too. Is that paint not? I think that paint was too wet that I tried to paint on. And now it's got my brush act or my paint pen acting silly. But that's okay. We could do it with a liner brush. Ooh, there was a kitty down there. Just popped out of nowhere. And this just kind of makes these little ice cubes stand out a little bit. They look a little flat to you. Give them a little depth. I think that's pretty much it except for finishing off the salt and then the other thing I did on this is my favorite part glitter so this is a deco art paint as well and it's a brush on glitter although I never use a brush I use my finger for this part and I just like to add a little bit to these ice cubes to give them a little sparkle because I mean Ice cubes sparkle. And then also once the uh, salt is dry, you can brush a little glitter on it as well. And then I used some color glitters in the um, lime when I did this one. So as you can see, it's got a little sparkle to it. See if I can move it around so you can see the sparkle. All right, guys. So this is our finished. Minus a little bit of salt over here. But we could just say that area right there that doesn't have any salt is where they were drinking their margarita from. So, like I said, if you guys think that you might be interested in doing um, a paint kit uh, with these... Just type paint kit in the comments. If I can get this to go in the right direction. Hi, everybody. So just paint uh, or type paint kit if you think you want a paint kit for this. And I'll see what I can do to come up with those and put them together and price and all that good stuff. Or if you just want to get the template that you can do your own on canvas, just uh, type link below and I will send you the link for that. So type link below. Alrighty guys, hope y'all have a great night. See you later.